Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mind Over Matter with Sankit. In this episode, we'll be talking about how much exactly we need to eat in order to be healthy, in order to be at the optimum of our health. So I cannot really say a common proportion for everyone out there because all of us are different, but I can talk about how we can find our own ideal amount, how we can find our own proportion. So generally, when it comes to food, whatever we eat is based on how hungry we're feeling. So eating according to your hunger is a very simple yet pretty effective approach because whenever you feel hungry, that means that your body has lost some form of energy and that it the energy needs to be replenished so you have food and add energy to your body however this might not necessarily be true at all times because you might be confused about your hunger so what do i mean by this generally when you feel hunger hunger is actually the intense feeling that you have when you are running short of energy when you need energy but then most of the times if you notice it you might feel like you're hungry even when you're bored or when you're or when you have nothing else to do you do not have anything else to do so you think of something to do and what's the easiest thing to do at hand that's to eat something so that is the approach that is taken by most people and although this might not have any significant effect in the short term this might have very dire consequences very harmful consequences in the long term because at this moment you will not notice it but whatever you eat it accumulates if you if you eat anything more than what is necessary for you it accumulates as fat and it becomes a not useful part of your body it just becomes a liability it just becomes something that you have but something that you're not supposed to have However, this also does not mean that you should consume less than what you need. So generally, people who are looking forward to gaining weight make sure that they consume more calories than they burn. Similarly, people who want to lose weight, they burn more calories than they consume. Now, counting calories is a pretty good way of, you know, keeping track of whatever you're eating but then this process might also be pretty exhausting when you do start doing it every day so i personally also kept track of all the calories i consumed throughout the day and i used to see if i met my daily goal every day however this process can be exhausting because you constantly need to record what you ate and you need the number of calories that each food contained and in a similar manner you you cannot really be precise at all times for example you cannot be precise about how many calories you burn throughout the day when you're running because uh, there are some limitations in the mobile apps that track your calorie burned also so it might not be accurate so you might feel very bad about it you might feel demotivated to continue so the better approach to take with tracking your food intake is by simply listening to your own body. So basically what you need to do is just listen to your body whenever it comes to food. Neither should you be too strict with yourself nor should you be too free about it. You need to listen to your body and you need to differentiate whether it's hunger or it's boredom because there's a difference between actually feeling hungry and convincing ourselves that we are hungry it's important to know the difference and to act accordingly so basically what you need to do is that you do not even need to track each calorie that you're consuming and each calorie that you're burning you just need to have a basic idea of whether you want to add weight to yourself or whether you want to lose weight and after that you need to listen to your body if you feel like you're having too much of food you need to stop you shouldn't give in to your own temptations or you shouldn't give in to peer pressure or you shouldn't give in to your parents asking you to eat a lot because when you know that your body has that enough you would not want to add more to it because as I said before, it turns into fat and not into energy and that becomes something that holds you back from a healthy life. So basically, in a nutshell, the point of this video was to not really take your 
food and exercise too seriously but to make sure that you know your right balance now there are several sources from which you can you know learn about the proportion of food that you need to have there are many coaches who teach you how to exercise and also they tell you about the proportion of food that you need however at the end of the day when it comes to yourself the only teacher is your own body your own body reacts in certain ways for example if you have excess of a certain food which is not easily digestible you might as well suffer from diarrhea in a similar manner when you ingest some food which is not really supported by your system you might feel nauseous you might feel you might get a vomiting tendency or you might even get a food poisoning in the worst case scenario so when you see these signs you need to make sure that you do not consume that same food yet again or even if you do you reduce the amount that you consume so if you found this video helpful do not forget to press the like button also if you like whatever is happening here at sound health solution do not forget to subscribe to our channel we'll be coming up with similar videos in the future until next time